It's the 8th of July and Trials of Osiris is back for the weekend, meaning once again you got the chance to get some great weapons and armour from the weekly PvP event in Destiny 2. Well, Trials were around from Friday until recent on Tuesday, so you got until then to hunt down the available rewards this weekend. Well, if you're new around here or found this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. And roughly 98% of viewers who watch this week in video games aren't subscribed. So subscribe today and never miss an update. Well, let's get the important information out of the way first, so the map and the Adept rewards for the week. Well, for the map this week, we've got Javelin 4, and for the Adept rewards this week, we have an Adept Reads Regret. We'll stick around for info related to weapons and gobrols to chase in Season of the Haunted. Well, Trials of Osiris is the pinnacle PvP activity in Destiny 2, and every weekend, the best players compete in 3v3 elimination for one goal, and that is to go flawless. So first of all, head down to see Saint-14 in the tower, and don't forget to pick up the passage of your choice. Loot is no longer acquired by winning 3, 5, and 7 matches. It's all about winning rounds and not matches, and that helps you rank up at Saint-14 in the tower to get that Trials loot. So rank up to earn armor, weapons, and powerful upgrades, plus you get Trials engrams while you are playing Trials. Well, let's have a look at the loot for the season. So we've got the Eye of Soul, Reed's Regret, Aisha's Embrace, the Summoner, Burden of Guilt, Forgiveness, and the Atavistic Armor. Remember, win rounds and rank up at Saint-14 in the tower to get more awards. Well, let's have a closer look at the Gorobs to chase this season. So first of all, we've got the Eye of Soul. That one is a kinetic sniper. For PvP, snapshot sites, moving target would be good. Have a BVE, there are probably better snipers out there. Then we got Reed's Regret. This one is a Stasis Linear Fusion Rifle. For PvP, heating up an Adagio would be good. Have a PvE Triple Tap and Firing Line is the one you want to go for. Then we have Aisha's Embrace. This is a Rapid Fire Scout Rifle. For PvE, Triple Tap and Vorpal Weapon would be good. Have a PvP Compulsive Reloader and Multi-Kill Clip. That is the one you want to go for. Then we have a Classic. It's the Summoner. It's an Adaptive Frame Auto Rifle for PvE. Overflow and Rampage would be good. Have a PvP, Dynamic Spray Reduction and Range Finder. That is the one you want to look out for. Then we have the Burden of Guilt. That's an Adaptive Frame Kinetic Stasis Fusion Rifle. For PvE, Perpetual Motion and Chill Clip. For PvP, Perpetual Motion and Vorpal Weapon. Finally, we have Forgiveness. This one is an Arc Energy Sidearm with an Aggressive Burst. For PvE, Demolitionist and Adrenaline Junkie would be good. Have a PvP, Air Assault and Vorpal Weapon. That is the one I would look out for. Well, let me know if you're jumping into Trials this weekend, and if you are, good luck! Well, that is it for this guide for the Trials of Osiris map and reward this weekend on the 8th of July, 2022. Well, good luck if you're jumping into Trials this weekend. Don't forget to subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you soon.